Regardless of what kind of shot you're trying to play, the importance of appropriate balance should never be over-underestimated. Huh? That's a word. Understanding what kind of posture you should use for each shot can open up a huge number of attacking opportunities. Playing effective dink volleys is all about body height. <coughs> Trying to play an effective dink volley while standing tall? That's not right. Don't do that. Being ready to move fast can't be achieved quite so well if you're leaning far into the kitchen to play volleys. This is the time to use your rear end to counterbalance your upper body so you can have an effective balanced lean forward into the kitchen. For an added level of balance, use your non-dominant hand to push back for some extra reach. Unfortunately, down here, I'm not that quick, okay? Nobody is. I'm not gonna catch a bus like this. To be more mobile, you're gonna wanna adjust your posture bringing your center of gravity a little further back so you can move left or right much faster. Understanding which posture to use when is really important to maximize your attacks and minimize your errors. Imagine this scenario. You pull your opponent off the court with a well-crafted dink, which you likely learned from us. You maintain normal body height and you never see the option to play a volley, which would have stolen enough time to expose the gap left in their absence. Let's consider better posture transition. After seeing the dink that you've hit move the player off the court, you assume your lowest comfortable volley posture. You play the volley into the open court and either win the point or continue to apply pressure. Remember, when you're low, you'll see the opportunities to play volleys down here. However, if you're standing too tall, you won't see them until the ball has already bounced past the kitchen line. This is about perspective. Consider these two options, the ball moving over, the player staying tall, never realizing or seeing those opportunities to play the low volley, versus getting down to that low posture and having at least the opportunity to play the volley if need be. Consider these two perspectives side by side. Transitioning to the lower posture allows you to see the opportunity to play these volleys. Yeah. Ball. It's not nice. You don't want that. We don't want that. Don't do that. Get it Come on, Elvis. Oh, oh my God. I could try. So, how much of me is? Oh. 